Well, looky here. This is something you're not going to see every day. That's a three and a half bank keyboard. One, two, three and a half. This is a 1937 Remington Monarch Pioneer. Made by Monarch. Haha. Uh, made by whatever. It's made by Remington. Um, Monarch was just another advertising thing of, hey, buy these machines, right? Um, this particular one, the Monarch Pioneer, is made with the cast off or leftover parts from the Remington 3B, which also had the three and a half bank keyboard, but it had a different body style. Um, you know, that one has the streamlined body style. And I think there may even be a boxy one like this that's done as a 3B, but if so, I, I don't know. Um, the, the streamlined one's the only one I've ever seen. You know, you have to use your shift key to get to your numbers, right? And then use your zero, your capital O for your zero. Cute little machines. Um, you'll notice that this one does not have a return lever. That's by design. It does not have a backspace. That is also by design. You gotta do all that up here by hand. You go click and then take it back over. But hey, looky there, right? You should never be able to do this with a typewriter. This particular machine fell prey to uh, poor shipping. And as a result, this little piece, that little doodad right there, is in my hand instead of down here in the escapement, which is where it ought to be. And that little rack down in there that's got the teeth. That's where it's supposed to be down in there going dicky 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 every time you push the space bar or strike a letter. Um, so if anybody out there has a parts machine for a Remington portable one, two, three, <laughs> or five, they're all the same escapement. Uh, I could use one. I can actually use two. I've also got a scout that needs a, a little Remy scout that needs a, an escapement as well. Uh, kind of sad, especially considering all it needs to make it happen, make it be safe in shipping. It's a rubber band, rubber band around your carriage knob or a carriage release lever, around your knob a couple times, back around the release, and that would protect the gears. You know, immobilize the back of the machine inside the box and it would have been safe. Ah, so instead, I'll just sit here waiting on my parts machine to magically appear from somewhere. And in the meantime, fix other machines. Yeehaw.